Okay, Broadway in Roanoke returns this weekend with the Buddy Holly story. Yeah, this show is considered the world's most successful rock and roll musical. Earlier this week, Natalie and I headed over to the Berglund Center to get a little preview of the show and the Broadway speakeasy. Take a look. No need to go to New York or Chicago to see a Broadway show. That's because Broadway is coming to us. Yes, that's right. So we are here at the Berglund Center. Natalie, you're going to go talk to Devin about some of the upcoming shows mm -hmm. that sound amazing. And I'm going to get a look at the food. All right, let's go. All right, Devin, we have three more shows in this Broadway in Roanoke series. First up, tomorrow night, we have the Buddy Holly story. Yes. That's going to be a good one. I think so. Mm -hmm. um, people have been chatting about this one. Um, you know, Buddy Holly is kind of a legend. Didn't really get to live out his full career, but they're going to do it on the stage. Um, that short career he did have, so it should be really good. Yeah, and audiences can prepare for a lot of great music, and they probably won't be sitting much through this, right? <laughs> you know, I could bet that's the case. Yeah. Um, because you hear the songs that you like, everybody's kind of grooving and moving along and maybe people will get on their feet. That's usually not a Broadway thing, but with these kind of songs, with these it kind of happen. songs, you, it might happen. Okay, and then next up we have Jersey Boys in March. Yes, Jersey Boys is selling really quickly, so I know that people are looking forward to that. Um, the Four Seasons again, another legend, and people love to hear music on the stage. And um, this one is kind of for the mature audience, but. Um, it's going to be a good show as well. Okay, and then right after that is The Wizard of Oz, my favorite. Yes, a classic, of mm -hmm. course. Family friendly show, so um, maybe bring the kids out to that one. The Wicked Witch is going to be there, and Dorothy and Toto, of course, so that's always a favorite. Absolutely, I love it. Okay, now with this, you can get your tickets for the Broadway shows, but then there's also a speakeasy. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we have a couple pre um, show events that happen. Our Broadway speakeasy and then our Broadway buffet. So if you want to make it a little more of a night, date night, or coming out with your girlfriends, um, our speakeasy is $10. You can buy in advance, that includes one drink and um, also some appetizers. Then our buffet runs about $29.95. We have a, some um, senior, military, and children discounts, um, but you can find all that info on our website. Okay, and I understand that Brittany is hanging out with Art upstairs in the speakeasy, so we're gonna go and check that out right now. All right, I am here with Chef Art Hall in front of some delicious food. But first, before we get to the food, where are we at? This is pretty cool. Um, we are in our Speakeasy Lounge. It is a lounge we open up uh, where we serve uh, appetizers, full service bar. And it's just a nice little kind of casual hangout place before the show. Okay, mm -hmm. this is pretty cool. So is this something that like, I mean, it's a speakeasy, but is this something that the public knows about? Um, yes, we've, we've actually rolled it out for the past few shows, um, and it's gotten a fair amount of play, taken a little bit from the buffet, which we've done for years. Yeah. Um, but it seems to be fairly well received as well. Okay, so speaking of the buffet, tell us a little bit about that, because they're two separate things, right? Absolutely, they okay. are. Um, one is a full service meal. It's five courses. We have, um, start out with a full salad bar, uh, soup of the day. Um, this one we have here is the basil bisque, served with a super fine um, ricotta cheese and it's our house favorite. Um, it's one that kind of pops up fairly regularly. Okay. Um, we have an example of the salad bar, various different toppings. As far as the actual main meal, we typically have two proteins. One is gonna be Dunn Schaefer, one is an actual live carving station, usually like uh, New York Strip or something like along those lines. Okay. Um, we usually have a starch and two veggies as well. Okay. And then a wide selection of desserts. Typically, this is one of our more common ones. It is a chocolate cream pie. That looks so good. Yeah, it is absolutely amazing, one of my favorites. Um, what we have here, as far as the main plate, though, mm -hmm. um, today is uh, chicken lazio. It's two fried chicken cutlets with a sun-dried tomato, artichoke, and lemon cream sauce. And then we have honey roasted carrots and steamed broccoli. Wow, I love it. This is so cool. I never would have known this was here had I not been here today. I know. Doesn't everybody want to go to a speakeasy? And if you want to come, you can check it out at broadwayinroanoke.com. <laughs> that was fun. Yes. All right, again, the Buddy Holly story tomorrow night, February 3rd, broadwayinroanoke.com, or give them a call.